everyone, my name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine where I share with you my hobby of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So this is part 2 of my winter update. So part 1 was my update on the plants that I have growing in my greenhouse and in my backyard. So I will put a link up on this screen and down below this video if you haven't seen that yet. So this part 2 is all about the plants that I have overwintering here in my garage. So these are the plants that are either too large to fit in my greenhouse or those that are not cold hardy to stay out in my backyard. And I also have some here that are uh, fairly new. So I just planted them recently or like at the start of winter so they haven't really established themselves yet in the pots so i have them overwintering here in my garage so this is my table with all my plants and they're all under different types of grow lights so i have one two three four grow lights in here so right now i have my garage door widely open just so you can clearly see the plants because otherwise if I have that garage door closed it is very dark in this garage so I do have some small windows on top of the garage door but at this time of the year the sun doesn't get through or shine through those windows so it hardly this garage hardly receives any sunlight at all so my plants here are all just depending on the grow lights for their source of light <laughs> so these grow lights are really put being put under the test so let me start off with this section of the table so these are all the plants that i am growing under this spider farmer grow light so most of the plants here are either small i just recently planted them or they're still rooting some of them are cuttings like this one is a cutting so it's still rooting and then i also have my asclepiads in this section so orbeus stapelia uh, huernia they are all in here and um, i also have oh i like this one this is an albuca spiralis this was given to me by brian of sass cactus last year when i got it it was just a bulb with no leaves and um, hardly any roots on them but come summertime it put out a lot of growth although the leaves are growing straight but as soon as i move them here under the grow light look it formed those curly leaves on top very pretty so this one right here is the same. This is also an Albuca spiralis. But I had this growing in my greenhouse. And look, it's just growing straight leaves. So I decided to move them here in the garage as well. Hoping that they'll also develop the curl or the spiral tips on their leaves like this one right here. And then I have a mellow cactus there on the back that is not very cold hardy euphorbias and some mix of different kinds of plants in here gasteria and then in the middle section of the table here this is where i have most of my aloes which are growing under this pc cooler grow light so i recently made a video showing you the developments on these aloe um, under this grow light so if you want to check that video i'll also have a link up on your screen and down in the description below this video so i am happy with the way they are all growing so yes they are actively growing right now because aloes in my area they are summer dormant but fall winter and spring that's when they put out a lot of growth so many of them are showing their stressed colors, their beautiful stressed colors. Like this, I believe, is a Castiglione hybrid. Very pretty, purple and red. And also this aloe oik right here. 
Nice. So it's uh, kind of hard to see the color properly because the grow lights have the tendency to mess up the camera color. But watch out because I will be making a complete um, aloe collection video. So I will be showing you all the aloes that I have in my collection. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you have your bell notification turned on because most probably that will be my next video i'll be showing you my entire aloe collection moving on these are the plants that i have overwintering under two cx home grow lights so this is one grow light right here and this is the other cx home grow light so i have them at different heights because this is more powerful than this one so last year i used this for my seedlings but now i have another grow light actually that i am using for my seedlings which i will show you in a while so i had this a little bit lower and what i have it underneath this grow light are the ones that don't really need very bright lights like Sansevieria. So I have Sansevieria them there and some Haworthia as well. And then for the more powerful CX gr home grow light, I have some seedlings that are big enough to overwinter here in the garage underneath it. And some cactus. A little bit of everything to Haworthia. And then I have my columnars here, which are not very cold hardy. Alright, so now let me bring you inside to show you my other grow lights that I have over my seedlings. So now we are inside my house. So these are the cactus seedlings that are growing indoors. So these guys have never been outside ever since I planted them. They've been growing indoors under this Mars Hydro grow light. Okay, so I have uh, different types of cactus seedlings in here. I also have some Euphorbia cuttings that were given to me by Clyde Morris growing in here in this section. So that is one Euphorbia right there. That's a Euphorbia. And then I also have another one here from Clyde Morris so and then this one as well the Dicarii so this Euphorbia Dicarii I was uh, growing this in my garage but then I think it's too cold in my garage and it turned a little bit purple so I moved it indoors and ever since the leaves have turned back to green okay so some more cactus seedlings here this is a uh, type of gymnocalisium from my own seeds and that is an echinopsis domino which is screaming to get out of that pot so i need to repot that and separate them individually and then this is an echinopsis a tall one again this is a parodius glossary which is also in need of repotting or separating for them to grow properly okay and then the others the ones that are at this at the edges those are new seedlings that are still in the bag but i also have here in the middle these were seedlings that used to be out of the bag but then um because it's winter right now and we have the heater on in the house i think the very low humidity is affecting their growth and some of them were starting to shrink or shrivel up despite being watered so what i did is i put them back in the bag just to help them just to increase the humidity so like these are astrophytum seedlings this i believe are echinopsis and this is an echinocereus so some of them i place them back in the bag so this is also a rebutia so this was already growing out of the bag but then i noticed that they were starting to droop and shrivel up so i think it's the very low humidity that we have inside the house with the heater on and then these are the two aloes that um 
I crossed myself, <laughs> so this is my own breed. This is the Aloe Lizard Lips Cross Aloe Oik. So they've been growing very, very slow. And then this is the reverse of that cross. This is Aloe Oik Cross Aloe Lizard Lips. So they're starting to look like aloes. They used to look like grasses growing <laughs> but now they're starting to get the teeth on the edges although very very slow this container right here i already had this uncovered and they were growing uncovered for several months but now i had to recover them to increase the humidity but there's three different kinds of cactus seedlings growing in here. The tall ones are Parodia, are Lobivia, I'm sorry. And then in the middle, I believe is a type of Parodia. And this one, believe it or not, these are rainbow hedgehog seedlings. So they're still colored green. I don't know when they'll turn red, <laughs> but those are seedlings of my Echinocereus or the rainbow hedge hog cactus and then in the corner there that is not a seedling but I tucked in my rickrack cactus so before I wrap up this video I just would like to answer um, the questions that I received in my last video so you guys were asking me whether I water my plants here in the garage and yes my answer is yes because most of the plants that i have here are still very young or still rooting or like the aloes that i showed you right there they're all actively growing so in my garage here yes i water the, them about once a week and i also fertilize them once already during this winter time all right so that is it for my winter update give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and have your bell notification turned on oh by the way that guys right there that is my very first successful graft <laughs> but that will be for another video so stay tuned until next time bye guys and cheers